what's up everybody what's up everybody <laughs> this is my second video man because I just heard this story man a few minutes ago and I know I just did one about the mother leaving her three fucking kids home alone in the house just to get a booty call uh, a, a father has been accused of waterboarding his 11 year old daughter and the 11 year old girl's mother sat, sat back and watched and the father is a doctor, a George a Georgetown doctor, was accused of waterboarding her his daughter, young daughter, while the mother watched. Police said the investigation began after they were informed of domestic assault that happened back on July 12. During the incident, Marvin Moses, 58. He grabbed his eleven year grabbed his eleven year old daughter, Doctor Marvin Moses. He wrote two books and been on the Oprah show. That's his wife, uh, like for real. Grabbed his daughter by the ankles and dragged her across the gravel driveway, brought brought her inside his home and began to spanking her. Moses was arrested on July 16th and charged endangerment the welfare of a child as well as a assault he was released after posting $750 on Monday the police say the 11 year old girl bought to a child after the interview police say that she claimed was by a father, actually fucked over by a father by waterboarding, putting her head on the faucets and the faucets on the, in the sink and the tub and so on and so forth. The girl told her, running faucet causes her to go under her, go up in her nose, all over her face. The girl claims that she suffered this form of punishment for. From four times, suffer from this punishment four times over the course of two years, being in May of 09. 09. The girl also told police her mother, Par Paulina, Paulina, pa Pauline, Paulina, Moses, 40 witnesses. She saying her mother witnessed a few of this waterboarding incident and failed to stop her husband so her father and mother has been arrested after their home on Monday they were both charged with reckless endangerment and conspiracy of uh, endangerment the welfare of a child they were both arranged and <laughs> I'll tell you man this is some bullshit I don't put the story in the description box but after what I heard, man, like, after reading this, man, you gotta think about it. Like, are you for real? That this dude is going to waterboard his daughter and mother, mother witnesses and her, her mother witnesses and didn't do nothing. I, like Dr. Phil said, like Dr. Phil said, you was just as guilty as the person who's doing it if you do not stand up and say something. Her sister, the eleven year old sister, backed her story up. Now his lawyer is gonna lie for him, like, hold on, hold on, motherfucker, just because he's a side character and wrote books about child's mind and all coming close or whatever with child with death with friends. The you gonna take up for this because one thing he you think because he's been on the Oprah show and wrote two fucking self help books means that oh he can walk away from this? No, you can't walk away from this man. And his wife sat back and watched. You was just as bad as the damn judge that whipped his daughter. Y'all remember that story? The judge that whipped his daughter and his wife joined in. And uh, this is bullshit, man. That 
<laughs> like I said, man, parents don't know what the fuck they're doing anymore. If a fucking father that is also a damn doctor. This second time I heard about something about, uh, see, I can't, uh, uh, it, just, it just makes me frustrated. It just frustrated me. First it was the judge, water, uh, first it was the judge whipping the shit out of his daughter. What a motherfucker. Then now it's a doctor that's waterboarding his child. What kind of fucking punishment is that? You're not in the fucking army, dude. You don't have any rights to waterboard anybody. That is not punishment for a damn child. Just because you think. Because uh, you think that you. Just because you have that DR, the doctor in front of your name, and you got a PhD or an MD or anything like it, does not give you a fucking right to sit there and waterboard your fucking child because you think it's the right thing to do. And for your wife, she needs to be bitch smacked for letting her, for letting him do this. Bitch, you could have, his wife could have sat up there. Could have sat up there and called the police. Could have sat up there and made them stop. Anything. But no. She sat on her ass and let her do it. Let him do it. She sat on her ass and let her husband do this. And the girl's going to be fucking scarred for life. To me, in my opinion, they don't need to go back. Them kids don't need to go back to, to these people. If they're going to waterboard the shit out of their kids. I'm telling you. It's bad business. And another thing is like this, man. It's like this, man. If they get a, if if to me, I think this girl's gonna end up needing a lot of therapy because of this. Cause it's very wrong to sit up there and waterboard a child because you think that's the right thing to do, and it's not. And if it just makes no sense. A doctor waterboards his doctor accused. Well, they say father accused. Hold on. You think this? Dude, you think this girl's gonna lie about it? Oh my daddy waterboarded me. Hold on. Kids don't even know what. Eleven year olds don't even know what the fuck a fuck is waterboarding anyway. So how's eleven year old gonna know what waterboarding is unless their parents put them through it? See what I'm saying? Them y'all ain't gonna know what waterboarding is unless their parents put them through it. And I think this girl know what waterboarding is because her dad has did it and her mama watched. So you cannot sit there. So you cannot say this girl made this up because ain't no them y'all gonna know what the fuck waterboarding is. No teenager, no, no person under the age of 18. Is gonna know what the fuck waterboarding is unless their parents was in the army. Unless their parents was in the army and they brought it up in the conversation. But I don't think this little girl's lying if she got waterboarded by her father. But it's like this though. I'm put the story in the description box and you tell me what you think about the situation, about the topic. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Junior 2, CeeLo Junior 3. Tell me what you think about the situation, because to me, I think it's bullshit how this father uh, did this to his daughter. Peace, love, and Afro Grease.